Well, tonight, a brother and sister are praying for a miracle. Their father, a convicted double murderer, is scheduled to be executed tomorrow for killing their mom and her boyfriend. Donnie Lance has been on Georgia's death row for more than two decades, but he's maintained his innocence the entire time. Ryan Kruger shows us how one last ditch effort by his children to keep their dad alive. They were just kids when their father, Donnie Lance, was convicted of brutally killing their mother. As adults, Jesse Lance and Stephanie Cape say their dad has always played a big part of their life, despite being behind bars. We have always included daddy in every major decision in our lives. We are closer to our father in prison than a lot of our friends are to their fathers who live near them, the two wrote in a letter to the state parole board. But the relief they sought didn't come. On Tuesday, the board denied Lance's request for clemency. His execution is scheduled for Wednesday night. He took his case all the way to the United States Supreme Court last year, but they chose not to hear his appeal. Prosecutors say in 1997, Lance killed his ex-wife Joy and her new boyfriend Butch Wood. Witnesses testified that Lance had been abusive in the past and threatened to kill Joy. But to the kids who already lost their mom, they're hoping for a miracle to save their dad. In their letter, they write, we've spent our whole lives with this huge gaping hole in our hearts, but at least we've had our dad at our sides. It's almost impossible to imagine that it could get worse. All right, so we saw a death row sentence commuted to life in prison right. just two weeks ago. Right. So when you think about that side by side, people may say, what's the difference in the cases? Yeah, really, it's when the trials took place. You know, the case you're talking about, Jimmy Metters, he was convicted in the 1980s. And the jury actually said at the time, you know, we really would have rather given him life in prison without parole yeah. besides the death penalty. But that wasn't an option, actually, believe it or not, in Georgia back then. Okay, fast forward to the 90s, uh, whenever this case, Donnie Lance was in the trial, you know, the jury had that option. They could have given him life in prison without parole. They chose the death penalty instead. And that's kind of where the parole board said there's a clear difference in these two cases. All right, thanks for spelling mm -hmm. it out for us, Ryan. Ron. All right.